Are you tired of lag, stutters, and FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 6? I'm breaking down PeterBot's new Fortnite settings that are giving players insane FPS boosts and zero input delay in Chapter 6. These are his updated 2025 settings, and they seriously make your game feel way smoother. Let's jump right in. Step 1. Adjusting Windows Power Throttling Settings for Fortnite If you play Fortnite on a low-end or budget PC, you want your computer to give you the best performance it possibly can. To turn this setting off, press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard at the same time. A small box will pop up. This is called the Run dialog. In that box, type this, gpedit.msc. Then press the Enter key. This will open a new window called the Local Group Policy Editor. On the left side of that window, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates. System scroll down the list and find a folder called Power Management, then click on it. Inside that folder, look for Power Throttling Settings and double click on it. A box will open. Now find the setting that says Turn Off Power Throttling and double click it. Another box will appear. In this box, select the Enabled option. This will fully disable power throttling so that your CPU always runs at full power. After that, click Apply, then click OK and close all the windows you opened. This method works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Turning this off helps your PC run smoother and give better FPS when playing Fortnite. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Setting Fortnite Process Priority for Maximum Performance You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to tell your PC to give more attention and power to Fortnite when it is running. This is done by changing something called Process Priority. First, open the folder named Fortnite Priority Manager, which comes with the optimization tools you downloaded. Inside that folder, you will see three different files. Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, Fortnite High Priority. If your PC is low-end or budget, double-click the file named Fortnite Normal Priority. If your PC is mid-range, double-click the file named Fortnite Medium Priority. If your PC is high-range, double-click the file named Fortnite High Priority. If you ever want to go back to the regular setting, just double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. After double-clicking one of these files, a message will appear asking you if you want to allow the changes. Click Yes. This change will now be saved into your system, and every time you open Fortnite with porn, it will automatically apply this new priority setting. Step 3. Optimizing CPU Using Park Control for Fortnite You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to unlock the full performance of your CPU using a program called Park Control made by Bitsum. First, open the Park Control program. If you don't have it yet, go online, download it, and install it on your PC. Once it's open, look for a setting called Performance Profile. Change this to Bitsum Highest Performance. Next, go down to the Advanced Settings below and change the following. Set Parking AC to Disabled. Set Parking DC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling AC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling DC to Disabled. Also, make sure the setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost is turned on. This setting allows your CPU to save power when not gaming, but go full speed when you launch Fortnite. After that, open your Windows Power Options and select the plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. Then find these two options and set them both to 100%, minimum processor state, maximum processor state, click. Make active to use this plan and click apply to save everything. Your CPU will now give the best performance in Fortnite. Step 4. Applying NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to change some special GPU settings using a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to make Fortnite run better. Open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector program. At the top of the window, click the drop-down and select the Fortnite profile. If you got a custom Fortnite profile, for example from Discord, you can import it now. But if not, just follow the manual steps below. In the anti-aliasing section, set anti-aliasing. Transparency, super sampling to 0x tetra 0, triple 0, 0, 008. Scroll down to the texture filtering section. Set texture filtering, driver controlled LOD. Bias to offset texture filtering, LOD. Bias, DX to plus 3 U thousand. Set texture filtering, LOD. Bias, OGL to plus 3 U thousand. This will reduce texture quality a little but give better FPS. Set texture filtering. 
negative LOD, bias to clamp set, texture filtering, quality to high quality in the power management mode, set it to optimal performance. Now click apply changes at the top right of the window to save your settings. These tweaks will make Fortnite run faster and help stop little stutters during gameplay. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the GearUp Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Using ISLC to optimize RAM and reduce input lag for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll use a small tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, to manage RAM better and make Fortnite more responsive. Open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see your system's total memory shown in MB, megabytes. Take that number and divide it by 2. Type that number into the box labeled, List Size is at least. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, enter 16,000. Now check these boxes. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon. Enable custom timer resolution. Set the custom timer resolution to 0 0.50. Set the polling rate to 1,000 or use 1,000 if your PC is very slow. Then click Stop, then click Start, and finally click Purge Standby List. Leave ISLC running in the background while you play Fortnite. This will keep your RAM clean and help your game stay fast and smooth. Step 6. Boosting GPU Performance Using MSI Mode You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Utility for Fortnite Now let's boost your graphics card using a tool called MSI Utility V3. Open the MSI Utility Program. It will show a list of all the devices on your PC. Find your dedicated GPU, for example, NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX. Tick the box under MSI Set Interrupt. Priority to High Now also find your integrated GPU, like Intel UHD or AMD Vega Graphics. Tick the box under MSI Set Interrupt. Priority to High after that, click Apply at the bottom right and close the program. This will reduce input delay and help your GPU give better performance in Fortnite. Step 7. Making your keyboard respond faster with filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter in this step, we will make your keyboard more responsive using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the program and change the settings to the following. Set Ignore Under to 0 or M's. Set Repeat Delay to 130 in uh, M's. Set Repeat Rate to 10 in M's. After entering those values, check the box on the right hand side and click OK to save. These changes will make your keyboard react faster, which helps when you play games like Fortnite that need fast input and reaction time. Step 8. Optimize Game Mode and Graphics Settings In the last step, we will turn on Game Mode and change graphics settings to give Fortnite more performance. First, open Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Turn it on. This will stop background apps and make Windows focus on gaming. Next, go to Graphics Settings. Click on Browse, then find where your Fortnite is installed. Add the Fortnite game file to the list. Once it is added, click on it, then click Options, then choose Performance, and click Save. This will make sure your graphics card gives its full power when you are playing Fortnite. All of these steps are made to give you the maximum FPS, lowest input delay, and the smoothest Fortnite experience, especially on low-end or budget PCs. If you follow everything carefully, your system will feel faster and more responsive in every match.